uh, uh, perhaps recall this matters relate to the uh, seeking of compensation mm. for custodial debts which have occurred in the various jails in Assam. Mm. On the last occasion, my learned friend had uh, filed an, an affidavit uh, whereby they have brought on record the fact that um, it is they have accepted that yes, 13 debts have occurred in the district jail of Gualpara, mm. but they have denied the fact that uh, these debts were unnatural. Uh, under, unnatural. And also the fact that they are liable to pay any kind of compensation. So mm. now today I would like to demonstrate to your lordships mm. the uh, various inadequacies mm. which have occurred in not only uh, in so far as the investigation is concerned, but also in so far as the uh, the way that the manner and method in which the investigations have been carried on. Mm. Lordships, the uh, if I'm just uh, we are just putting your question just. Okay. Yes, sir. Uh, out of curiosity, yes, sir. why shouldn't you approach the NHRC or the State Human Rights Commission for this? In some of the cases, some of the matters had been taken up to, uh, to my knowledge, three cases were, were taken up by the NHRC and mm. two matters have been taken up by the AHRC, mm. where in one or two cases, compensation has also been granted, mm. which I have also... Because there is a the certain charge. element of fact-finding inquiry in this, this matter. The problem uh, arises because of the fact that some of these people are declared foreign nationals. Mm. They're not citizens of India. Mm, then that there the, the problem arises. Then otherwise also how compensation will be awarded? Because it is Article 21. Mm. Therefore, and your, your, your lordships some, have, your, some... in, in a Rajasthan judgment, if I'm not mistaken, your lordships have also passed an order. I do have a copy of that order with me. Okay. Where is that? I'll just place it before your lordships. Wherein, when your lordships were in the Rajasthan High Court, your lordships have passed these orders that uh, irrespective of whether they are uh, whether they are citizens of india or not if it is they are kept in a detention center mm -hmm. how and in what manner they are to be kept well, that is a different kept. thing that's a different thing there's basically hum basic human dignity that's yes, an sir. entirely different yes, concept yes, human dignity. is that because the state is confining them so then the state has to ensure that the <clears throat> human beings are kept in a dignified manner yes it's yes. a different thing in that. to that extent the entitlement of com compensation. compensation now entitlement of compensation your lordships in so far as the law has double developed mm. over the uh, years your lordships are aware how nilabati behra it was rudul shah then nilabati we understand behra, madam madam, madam we understand yes your assuming that we hold that your clients or the concerned persons lordships. families are entitled yes. to compensation Correct. how do we quantify that Lordships, that your lordship would find perhaps uh, uh, in the case of, as an officer of the court, I should point out to your lordships that in the case of Subay Singh, uh, what had happened was that the Supreme Court had taken up all the matters and it was a single person who was claiming uh, compensation in that particular matter. Mm. After having discussed the entire mm. law, which, had, mm. which was in 2006 prevalent at that point of time, mm. the Honorable Apex Court did not grant compensation in that case. Mm. The Honorable Court felt that it is not a uh, fit case to grant compensation. Mm. Perhaps drawing an analogy from there and the fact that as per the victim compensation scheme, mm. when a death occurs, the compensation which is granted is 5 lakh rupees in mm. general to, to a victim, to a victim, your lordships. Now, drawing an analogy from that, perhaps your lordships can fix the quantum of compensation as that. If Since mm. your lordships have posed the query mm. as to what would be the quantum of this thing, perhaps an analogy can be drawn from the victim compensation scheme and the amount which is quantified there for a death claim is perhaps what your lordships mm. may, might be able to mm. uh, grant in an appropriate case. Mm. I am not saying that all the 37 or 31 prisoners whose chart I have prepared and placed before your lordships, mm. that all of them might be in Who will get the compensation? Lordships, we may have to take a little time to take each case individually. We understand. I, we understand. Yes. Supposing there is a person who was declared a foreign national. Yes. And, and his family has already been deported. Who will get the compensation? Then your lordships may perhaps give it to uh, any other organization. Perhaps the quantum of compensation may be given to us also, or to uh, or to any other what? organization which works towards or in the legal aid cell. That that might be done because salsa already has its own budget. Lots of the well, <laughs> these are questions which have yes, to be answered, madam. Absolutely, absolutely, and therefore we need to perhaps look into the matter in depth and see how each person is whether a person is entitled to it or not. If he is entitled, then who should be the beneficiary concerned? Because you if are you are in public interest. Absolutely, we don't have the details of the families. Lots so that is why we observe. Why not go to the Human Rights Commission where the 
fact finding inquiry can be conducted and therefore your lordship i am saying that for us to go to uh, the human rights commission at this belated stage because there are some deaths which have occurred way back in 2016 17 18 mm -hmm. now for them to go to the human rights commission it might not be possible well, because we, it might be we a time don't bar even know madam we we are not even we are not even having the information probably the families may have approached who I knows i have just placed three or four cases yes they have some of the matters were taken up so moto. Mm. In fact, it is in my note. If your lordship will just give me a minute, I can perhaps uh, tell your lordship how many matters had gone to NHRC. Yes. Mm -hmm. So um, three cases have gone to NHRC lordships. Mm. The names are Arjun Saharia, Bobul Das, and Babul Biswas. And one case had gone to AHRC, that's the Assam Human Rights Commission, which mm. is Amrit Das. Now, uh, three of them have died in 2016 and 18. Mm. And Amrit Das, who was in Assam Human Rights Commission, died in 2019. So now for them to go and approach the Human Rights Commission might sure. also be mm. a related yeah. claim, Your Lordship. Some yeah. only and only some of them are declared foreign nationals. The others are still citizens of India, right. but they might be yeah. barred by by limitation. And that is the oh, limitation we will extend. We will um, extend here because you are espousing their cause in public interest. Lordship, we the can fact say that they have already died in mm. custody, and now yeah. the fact that they so are we are, unable we are to telling you, Madam, where Lordship. the compensation will go. How does this court decide in a PIL? Your Lordship's powers under 226 are why? Oh, so then we Your first, can first we indulge in, Madam, before, before doing that, then first we indulge in the exercise, whether there are any family members yes, to clear claim to the in compensation. Fact, in my chart, I also tried to indicate whether there were any family members uh, available in certain cases or not, Your Lordships. Um, which chart was this? Um, it is correct, your lordships uh, are absolutely correct when your lordships are saying that we will need to identify the family members. We had done this exercise in one of my nine eighty that chart. Is anyone aware where is the chart gone? You are talking of this chart. Um, you have got a spare. I have. This. We have several charts prepared before yeah. your lordships. I had in fact placed three on three different occasions. IG present your lordships. Yes. Then on the next page, your lordships will take again serial number uh, twenty eight, Bubul Das. This is again a case of hanging yes, your lordship. Forwarded to the uh, DC Lalbari. Yes, your lordship. But whether it has been disbursed or not, we are not aware. Then um, also serial number 30, if your lordship will see. It, again, a case of hanging. And NHRC decided to give compensation of rupees 3 lakhs to NOK. Hmm. So these are the three cases where NHRC has granted some amount of compensation. Yes. In the case of AHRC, we are not aware whether the uh, compensation has actually been granted, granted or not, your lordships. So and next of kin, your lordships, unfortunately, we do not have the data of these people. So we are only bound the by whatever. Of, if uh, you see suicide in the prison, the responsibility will be of the state. For the reason that how do the prisoners get access to the implements? So these cases wherein either there is a suicide or there is a strangulation or there are one, one or two cases wherein there is even assault, head injury by assault. Those cases can be segregated. They, they have to be segregated. Yes. They have to be segregated. Uh, and so let's, will... let's identify yes, on the basis we are tied right now, is, uh... chart right now. Yes, and then perhaps what we can yes. do is, Lord what Lord. we can do is, Lord. we can send it to the DLS concerned. Let them make an inquiry and come back to us regarding the family members. Um, District legal service of lordships that can also be done because most of the cases are of Gualpara, but then there are several other districts uh, involved as well. That is why we are saying DLSC. I'm absolutely that is the what best is the way situation? to get the the, the, the next of kin. If they can identify the next of kin. Yes, your lordship. Yes. That would be a very like helpful thing, your lordship. So, Deva, in so lordship. now let us. My see. humble submission is lordship. Yes. There is a proper forum in place with a retired chief justice, yes. some human rights commission. Yes. Some of them have gone there and they, no, uh, that's right. the tribunal has said that they are natural death. Uh, in the list people, the listed people, Lord, some went and they the finally We understand, but suicide, supposing the family doesn't have the means or the approach to reach out now, to the yes, ARC. One person, um, um, Amit, hmm. here, another agency went to the new, uh, because another NGO hmm. went there and found that is a case of natural death. And this See, now again, this the present. Now this again. chart. The, now there is this a chart has been prepared. war between the just, NGOs now. Just, just listen to us. NGO will not get anything. There is no question. Yeah, but one NGO went there. Which and what we are suggesting is that's not on that record. I, 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 it is on the hold on, hold on, hold on. Record, Please hold on, hold on. What we are suggesting is these are cases of unfortunate deaths in prison. Lordship. So let's not go on the technicalities. 
AHRC we can send on the basis of saying that the limitation if at all will stand yes, that, that we can I'm do that i am considering that from our we, side also we we can't we don't dispute that but where the fact is admitted yes. that it is a suicide in prison and your ig prison has granted compensation in yes, one yes, case Lord. so those we cases we can on, we, are not we can on. segregate yes and ask the dlsa to collect the family details Lord, and we'll get the yes. information here only yes Lord. why they're unnecessary duplicate because, exercise they have given a list of about 30 persons 